the hydro rush land four mixes first engineer builds the hydro acu assists is one of the most eco-efficient openings in fath but there are cases where the standard hydro rush won't quite work out for example when the hydrocarbon deposit is too far away from your core or when the acu has to be somewhere fast and cannot stay back to assist the hydro Fortunately, there are ways to modify your hydro rush for most situations, and I'm going to show you how. When the hydrocarbon deposit is far away, the standard hydro rush is going to power stall. You can fix this by building land, one pigeon and three mixes with your ACU, and your first engineer builds one mix on the way to the hydrocarbon deposit before it starts the hydro and gets assisted by the ACU. If you want to go lab first or tank first for some reason, it may make sense to let your ACU build the mix that would otherwise be built by the engineer. This way, the engineer that gets built later will have time to start the hydro before the ACU has any idle time. If the ACU has to leave the base early, for example to get reclaim, and there is no time to assist the hydro with your commander, there are various ways how you can still make the hydro rush work. One way is to let the ACU construct four mixes after the land factory, and then it leaves the base. The first engineer builds the hydro immediately, and engineer number two and number three assist right away. This is how some of the ACU build power can be put to use in your base, rather than having the ACU leave directly after the factory. Your initial setup will have better scale than that of an opponent who doesn't build any mixes before leaving, but of course, your ACU will arrive later at wherever it's headed to. Another way, you probably guessed it, is to leave the base with your ACU as soon as the factory completes. Your first three engineers build one mix each before building the hydro. This sacrifices some of the initial scale of your setup in favor of a quicker arrival of your ACU. And which way is better? Well, it depends. If there is so much mass for your ACU to reclaim that you and or your team cannot use it all, yet it's so far away that it will not fully supply a low mech setup, it's probably better to build mechs before leaving. If there is just enough mass to justify leaving fast, but not enough so that you can reasonably expect to still get a competitive amount if your ACU arrives late, you don't want to build any mixes. Anyway, in some cases, you may even want to skip the three mixes your engineers built and instead only build one or none. Consider doing this whenever the mass is so close and abundant that the income generated by mixes before the hydro is not needed. Building exactly one mix before the hydro may let you upgrade it fast, if there is really a lot of mass. Now you know some approaches of modifying your hydro rush, depending on the map and your intended setup, and they can make your starting build orders more efficient. There are even more ways of dealing with the hydro, for example, using the dual end hydro rush or tree reclaim based low power builds. These have been or will be covered in separate videos, since arguably they are so heavily modified that they aren't even a real hydro rush anymore. Lastly, let me point out that just because there is a hydro near your starting position, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to rush it. For example, on the open palm's flank slot, the hydro is very exposed and it can get killed quickly so relying on it too much is quite risky. Or you may want to prioritize tying reclaim into your build, which totally justifies spending more mass on T1 pigeons early on and economizing on the travel time involved with rushing the hydro. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and good luck, have fun.